I want to introduce you to our six steps for a decision-making framework that will really help you through your pregnancy and birth. The first step is to know your foundations. The example of this would be if you know you need to make a decision about labor pain, what is labor pain? Learning about how it affects different people and getting as much education around that topic before you make the decision. The second step is to explore your options. You may have already heard about the BRAIN acronym for making decisions while laboring. This is benefits, risks, alternatives, your instinct, or do nothing. This is one way for you to know all the options that you have when making a decision, which helps you know which pathway you ultimately wanna take. Step three is to clarify what matters most to you. Looking within, what is the important thing? What's your main thing that you really know means the most to you? Step four is to talk with your provider and the people that matter most to you. So yes, speaking with your OB or your midwife, but also your partner, your mother, your sister, whose opinion means a lot to you. Step five is to advocate for yourself and know your rights. You have a lot of rights in this situation. This is your birth story after all. Knowing about informed consent and informed refusal can really help in this scenario. Knowing that you always have the option to hear what's happening and then make a choice of yes or no. And our sixth step is to repeat and revisit as needed. Our decisions, they change over time, and it's okay if your mind changes when you're in a new space with a new set of given circumstances. Allow yourself the permission to let this decision change and to revisit the steps prior to this as you make a new decision in a new situation.